You can't famously run into a theatre in America and shout fire and create a stampede where people might die. So there are limits to free speech uh, all around the world. But my guest tonight, well, he tests free speech to, I would argue, its breaking point. To many people, a very dangerous conspiracy theorist who's made himself hugely rich peddling a lot of lies. Very few tragedies have ever moved me the way that Sandy Hook did. 20 children aged between six and seven were murdered by a lunatic with a semi-automatic rifle. Alex Jones told his many followers within a few hours it was all a hoax, a government hoax, a deep state plot to justify seizing guns. They were riddled with bullets by an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. And then they had to put up with years of harassment and threats and disgraceful incidents because Alex Jones fueled a conspiracy theory almost immediately that the whole thing was fake and that these parents who were grieving for their dead children, that they were actors. And I do believe that people should be allowed to express themselves as long as they're held to account and they're challenged on that. And that's what we're going to do tonight with Alex Jones. So my guest tonight is Alex Jones. I think that's futile of everyone watching. You are now a very infamous person around the world. This is your chance to explain what has happened and to, if you want to, uh, express remorse for things that you've got wrong and, and done wrong. It's the biggest. I'm more interested, in how you, I'm more interested in Alex, and in how you, you built this empire. Here's a timeline of 10 and a half years since, or 10 years, two months since Sandy Hook. It happens the first year. It becomes a huge internet thing that it's staged. So much stuff is staged. 